Hello everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West and today we get to talk about Beauty and the Beast. I don't know about you, but I am so so super excited to see the movie that comes out tonight. I don't get to see it tonight, but hopefully you guys just saw it and went straight to YouTube to find some books that you could read that had to do with Beauty and the Beast and came to my channel and if you did please comment down below because I want to be your friend. And if you're here watching my video because you're subscribed to my channel, I'm already your friend. Go ahead and comment down below. So it was kind of requested of me a few weeks back to do a video talking about Beauty and the Beast retellings and Beauty and the Beast stories, so that is what this video is for. So the first one that I read for this video is As Old as Time by Liz Broswell. Now this is a twisted fairy tale story in which the twist to the original tale is that the beautiful enchantress who changes beast into a beast is Belle's mother. Of the retellings I'm going through, this one took me the longest to get through. Up to the point where Belle discovers the rose, her plotline follows the movie exactly, and every other chapter you switch between her point of view in the story that we know and love, and her father's point of view in the events that lead up to the beginning of this story. At the point that Belle discovers the rose, things take a dramatic turn, and the ending might not turn out to be what you expected from a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Now while I really enjoyed this book, there are some issues with it, including a word that does not normally show up in normal day-to-day -day language, but shows up in here quite often, and it was enough to kind of draw me out of the story every time it happened. It had been once or twice, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but the fact that she took this word that's not normally heard and made it normally heard for this book just kept drawing me out, and it seemed a little bit dark and a little bit more mature than maybe the age rating that I would think that this was supposed to be, in that they go into the mental asylum and actually take a good look at what's happening there. The next book I picked up is a book that's been out for a while, but I didn't really pick it up. I've seen the movie several times and decided it was time that I read the book, Beastly by Alex Flynn. While I'm disappointed that Amazon sent me the movie cover on the book, I was not actually disappointed with the story. This this is a very modern day retelling of Beauty and the Beast in which they are kids in high school and the Beast character is basically just acting like a teenage male, a jerk. And then uh, Mary-Kate Olsen takes offense to that. In the movie Mary-Kate Olsen does play the witch character who casts the curse on Kyle and turns him into this hideous beast. Now, this is not what he looks like in the book, which is why I'm kind of unhappy with having it as a cover, because in the book, the storytelling is much more traditional beast covered in all hair kind of thing. So it's much more, you know, true to the original story that we grew up with. I personally really like this look for a beast. It's out there and it's enough to damage a very popular boy's opinion of himself while still not being so much that it feels like loving an animal when you fall in love with him. After that, I read Of Beast and Beauty by Stacey J. This was the one I honestly thought was going to be my favorite Beauty and the Beast retelling because it is the most original of the ones that I have read. Way, way into the future, we have gone to recolonize this new world where a magic god has kind of been keeping an eye on it. And he notices us and realizes that us with as fleshy and smooth-skinned as we are, we're not really going to do so well to survive on this planet. So he, being the nice guy that he is, gives us scale so that we can better live out in this sun environment. Only, of course, the ones that have not been mutated automatically reject these new, more beastly forms of ourselves, and we become entirely separate. As a last-ditch effort, this god tries to get us to get back together and to get along because we kind of need each other to survive on this planet, only he has no luck. So the curse that he puts in his last bit of magic is that so long as the smooth skins and the monstrous think more of themselves than they think of each other, they will both have dying societies. And all of that information kind of gets dumped on you at the very beginning of the story. It's a very big info dump right at the beginning, but once you get past that info dump and 
get into the story. It really is well developed and you're not quite sure who exactly is the beauty and who exactly is the beast in the story because it's not so dependent on actual looks, mostly because the female character in this, the Belle character, is blind. I really, really enjoyed it. The book I just finished today is not actually a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but kind of a side story to go along with the movie. It is Beauty and the Beast Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. And not only is this cover absolutely stunning and gorgeous and I love it, the story itself is kind of interesting because Belle, while she's going through Beast's library, finds a book that sucks her into it. And if she can't escape the book and this world that she's been sucked into, she won't be able to complete her story of Beauty and the Beast. If she stays in the book, there is no one left at the castle to break the spell. This book has an excellent beginning and it really draws you into the story and you get going with it and it's really great. I only kind of had problems with the ending. It felt rushed to me and there were just some things that just stuck out as not really all that probable but it is much better than the last Jennifer Donnelly book I read and it's nice to see progression with her as an author and I have to say I did actually fully enjoy this book. Another one of my favorites I went to the library and picked up is The Castle of the Wolf by Sandra Schwab. This is a romance retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It is very adult, with very adult themes and adult things happening, and I absolutely love it. I don't know why I haven't bought my own copy for it, but anytime I want to read it, I just go to the library and get it. Probably should just buy my own copy, but... And basically what happened is that Celia is kind of willed this castle on the option, marry her father's friend's son who is living there. Only he doesn't like people. He doesn't like people at all. He went to war and lost his leg and now he wants absolutely no company at his castle. So he's doing everything he possibly can to send her away. While this is mostly just a straight historical fiction romance novel, there are some magical elements to it and it makes a really great Beauty and the Beast retelling. Another one I want to mention is Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss. If you haven't read this one already, I fully recommend it and if you read it and weren't too impressed with it but liked it alright, I really, really recommend A Court of Mist and Fury. It gets much better and the third book is coming out so soon and I'm so looking forward to it. This first book is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it's not my favorite but there are reasons for that that you actually find out in the second book on why this romance just doesn't quite ring as true as all the rest of the Beauty and the Beast novels. So yeah, that's it. That is all of the Beauty and the Beast novels that I wanted to talk about for this video. I know that there are a hundred more Beauty and the Beast retellings and Beauty and the Beast books out there and I would absolutely love to read them. So if you know one that I did not mention in this video, comment it down below so that I can find it and read it and make maybe a part two to this video so that we can all read more Beauty and the Beast because it's the best. And that's all I really have for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos every Thursday or else I lose books. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wicked day.